Yeah, you can see that monument right behind me at the Chowchilla Police Department. It actually marks the spot where those children reunited with their parents after being buried alive 46 years ago. Now it's the day that people have dreaded for decades, both the victims and this community. It's been confirmed that the third of those kidnappers will be released from prison soon. 46 years ago, Larry Park was a seven year old Chowchilla boy on board a school bus. There's hardly a, a day that goes by that, you know, I don't think about that. He was one of the 26 kids and bus driver who were buried alive by three armed kidnappers in a box truck in a Livermore quarry. The men had planned to demand $5 million ransom for their safety, but the victims managed to escape hours later. The trauma led to schizophrenia and addiction for Park, but now, decades later, he's chosen forgiveness. It is possible to forgive, and it is possible to find peace. All three men involved in the Chowchilla bus kidnapping were sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole. Fred Woods was the last of the kidnappers to remain locked up. After appearing before a parole board 17 times, in March, Woods was granted parole as well. Talking about it, I get... I get goosebumps. Madera County District Attorney Sally Moreno says she fought for Woods to stay behind bars. Has he demonstrated that he's been rehabilitated? And he hasn't. You know, as recently as 2019, he was disciplined for running businesses out of the jail or out of the prison. But after his parole was reviewed this week, the decision became official. Woods will soon be released from California Men's Colony in San Luis Obispo. You know, when they arrested him, he was busy selling the rights to the movie. He's always been about the money. Whatever he had to do to get the money, he would have done to those kids, including bury him alive. Some of those who advocated for him in his final parole hearing were unlikely supporters. Larry Park was among them. This resentment and bitterness that I've been holding on to my entire life for all three of those men. You know, I just want them to find some peace and, and some comfort. Just have a good life. DA Moreno and other kidnapping survivors who took part in the parole hearing were confident Woods was not ready to be released. Whatever he has to do to get more money, and he'll do. And whoever's in his way, better look out. So for safety reasons, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation does not disclose the exact date that its inmates are going to be released, but we do know it's going to happen sometime within the next two weeks. We also don't know the parameters of Woods' parole yet, but DA Moreno is confident that he will be ordered to stay out of Central California. Live in Chowchilla, Alyssa Flores, ABC 30 Action News.